sky and cloud free day here in central Alabama. This is our sky camera network from Vance to downtown Birmingham. We are looking good now. It's still pretty chilly outside though. 48 degrees. The current temperature. We're going to stay in those 40s for most of your day. 41 in Coleman, 41 Gadsden, upper 30s. So jacket weather for sure uh, running any errands. It, it feels pretty much just like the air temperature given the winds are starting to die down just a bit. A little cooler in northern sections of the state, but we have a couple of days. Today is only Tuesday, so we have until Friday to see this nice mild weather creep in. Our weather has been moving from west to east. Areas like Dallas and Louisiana are in the 50s, and that's where our forecast is headed as well. So let's go ahead and fast forward to Saturday. There's been a lot of chatter uh, by the water cooler on social media about the weekend. Everybody talking about the S word. So let's guide you through that forecast and start with the temperature and precipitation chances at the same time. It's all about the temperature. How warm will it be out ahead of this uh, weather maker? You know, uh, how fast will the temperatures drop behind it? These are a couple of weather elements that we take into account when trying to navigate you through these maps. Okay, this is a snapshot of what the weather will be like on Saturday morning. We'll have uh, some brisk northeast winds. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s. Then we move forward in time. Our temperatures will move close to the 50s, low 50s into Saturday afternoon. We'll still have a little bit more cloud cover moving in, but we'll get into the low 50s on Saturday afternoon. Saturday night, a cold rain begins, looking like a little bit of that rain may briefly mix in with some snowflakes as that cold air filters in right behind it. One o'clock in the morning on Sunday is when we expect this to occur, when some of that cold air starts to filter in. Now, given the temperatures will be above freezing widespread when the rain begins, but one thing I'll be watching for sure is just how cold we get before that rain starts because freezing rain may be an issue for elevated surfaces. Just want to throw that out there. So any bridges and overpasses in your neighborhood, watch out for those on Sunday morning because by 7 a.m. on Sunday morning, we'll be looking at temperatures certainly diving down into the teens and 20s. But Sunday looks a little tricky there for Atlanta and maybe even in Athens. So I would really watch out if you have any plans towards the Atlanta airport towards the end of the weekend, just to FYI. Looking right now at the current weather picture and this high pressure ridge just carved out a nice little spot here in the deep south. So we get sunny skies, upper 40s, already cold though by about 10 p.m. tonight. In your seven day forecast, looking ahead to those upper 50s on Thursday, partly sunny, 56 on Friday. So notice we have temperatures in the 50s during the day above freezing overnight. And so that's a pretty decent plate to have to deal with some wintry mix possible on Saturday night and overnight into early Sunday.